To add interactivity to your project, you need to create links between your sequences. I'm going to start by creating a new sequence and then dragging the small circle that's beneath the sequence towards another sequence. This creates a link on the storyboard and if I double click on this sequence to enter into sequence edition mode, I will have the image that I've dragged and dropped on the storyboard and a button because I've just created a link on the storyboard. Whenever I click on a button, the button properties window appears where I can change the label, the style, the start and duration. I can click on custom size so I can change its size. And I can also change its X and Y positions as well as its width and height. Transition out is grayed out here because the button has exactly the same duration as the sequence. So if the transition out is present, then the button will disappear at the end of the sequence. In the V2 of Clint, any media can be a link. So if I click on this image here and then click on the link tab, I can decide to go to a sequence, a menu, the index menu, a map menu, or a web link. If I decide to go to a sequence by clicking on this image, I then get to choose the sequence that I want to go to and the tooltip. I can also decide whether or not I want this link to open an overlay sequence or not and choose the transition animation by which the sequence will open. Overlay sequences are sequences that are opened above the parent sequence without closing it. And as options, I can choose to pause the parent sequence or not, to have the sequence auto-close at the end, and I can choose to have a close button or not. So if I export my project in the player, My image is clickable and it has a tooltip and the button here is clickable and it takes me back to my home sequence. So if I click on the image here, another sequence will slide in and open an overlay mode. So I have the close button here since I specified it. And if I close it, I go back to the parent sequence.